Well, hello and welcome back, my friends, to yet another firearm review here on my channel. Today, we have a wonderful treat. A gun I've had for years and have shot maybe a grand total of five times. Um, I've been reviewing nothing but really cool and exotic guns here lately, so I figure, you know, why not step it back to something a little more normal that, you know, maybe your average Joe might have laying around his house. So, without further ado, we're going to get into a word from our sponsors. Uh, I bet you didn't see that one coming now, did you? So, let's jump over to the sponsor segment. And here we are at the promotional portion of my video. Now, you may have noticed something today. Whenever you clicked on this video, you didn't have to watch an ad. And in the middle of this video, you're not going to have to watch an ad. And at the end of this video, you're also not going to have to watch an ad. That's because I learned very quickly in my brief two-week YouTube career that YouTube hates guns with a passion. And they're going to demonetize it in every way they can. You can try to fight it and this, that, and the other. But I don't care enough. I have fun doing this, and I really don't want to fight with YouTube and make myself dislike doing this. So I just went ahead and turned it all off. I'm not hurting for YouTube's money. But what I will do instead is... Obviously, you know, you guys see me post my links for my Patreon, my beautiful OnlyFans account, and the store, Rate the Fence, which, in case you didn't know, I am the owner of. So what I'm going to do is in every video, I'm going to take 60 seconds to maybe 120 seconds, that's two minutes for those of y'all that uh, can't do math, and shill something that I have in stock. So without further ado, let me introduce you to today's product. Do you ever find yourself walking to the grocery store, coming home from work, pumping your gas and getting caught up in random bayonet charges from nine enemy well then boy do i have the product for you in my hands here you may see a genuine one of a kind that i happen to have a couple hundred of romanian ak bayonet and these things are fantastic for you know getting in some little stabby matches with your buddies who doesn't need one of these right so for a limited time only, if you go on my website, which I will link down in the comments, you can buy one of these for $29.99. And if you use an offer code, STABBYBOY69, you can get an additional 10% off. These things are fantastic. Look at it. You got stabbing capabilities. You got, I think I'm doing this right, wire cutting capabilities. And if you look real closely at the back of this thing, you may notice that it has an interesting shape to it, right? Looks just like a caterpillar head. You got the eyeball and the mouth and everything. It's great. So anyways, let's get back to the gun. Pricing only valid while supplies last. Shipping and handling not included. And bingo bongo, we are back with a PP in a box. And by PP, I mean a Walther PPKS. An old school West German Walther PPKS. As denoted by this right here on the side, of course. Now... You may be able to tell here from the video that this gun is awfully beat up. I bought it at a pawn shop years ago um, for a steal of a deal. They had no idea what they had. And then I just stuck it in the safe and forgot about it. You know, chambered at 380, holds 6 plus 1. You know, nothing to write home about. It is kind of boring compared to what I normally show off here. But I will say, for what this thing is, it is very comfortable. Fits the hand nice, has good irons. The angle grip isn't too steep or too shallow, you know. It's pretty intuitive for what it is. I'm not a big fan of this here uh, safety location, but hey, it is what it is. If I were carrying this, I'd probably just carry it on fire with a hammer down and then, you know, whip her out and just start banging on people. But with that being said, let's just go shoot it. There's really no frills to talk about with this thing. Originally, it would have came with a box, the one factory mag, manuals and some other bits and bobs but nothing too much so let's go shoot it and here we are out on the range trusty walther ppk here in the pouch now let's go ahead and put some rounds into the woods the perfect backstop nature everyone should be shooting in nature right anyways like i said we got the gun here we've got a loaded mag of six rounds in it we'll go ahead and rack one into the chamber Man, that thing is buttery smooth. I really like that. And then, let's go ahead and shoot it. Interesting. Throw this thing on safety real quick. That was a decocker, by the way. Whenever I shot that, magazine came out the bottom. Did it chamber the next round? 
it appears it didn't chamber the next round. Now that's an interesting malfunction. I don't know if I've ever had a gun just drop the mag on me like that. Mmm, we're not off to a good start here. Let's see what it does this time. It did it again. We may have a defunct gun here, folks. It keeps just kicking the mag out and not picking up the next round. Now, I wonder what could be causing that. Huh, I have a theory. I wonder if because my hands are so big, whenever I grab this thing and I shoot it, the recoil, you know, it's not intense, but if it's just enough to make my thumb hit that there mag release, I wonder if that's the case. Let me try relocating my thumb and seeing if that fixes it. That'll be an interesting uh, thing if that is indeed the case. I don't even know how to combat that. Maybe I'll just try completely hiding my thumb. Magazine is inserted all the way. Ah, I believe that's exactly what it was. Mag locks through here. So that is an interesting thing. I have never had a gun do that to me. Also, I'm hitting exactly where I'm aiming. This thing is incredibly accurate for what it is, for as little as it is. But yeah, my thumb was like I was saying, let me drop this slide here. As I was shooting the gun, you know, bang, recoil just a little bit. And the tip of my thumb was hitting that magazine release, magazine, excuse me. I was shooting and I was bumping that and dropping the mag. That's an interesting thing. Maybe there's size requirements on this. You can only shoot a PPK if you're a manlet. Interesting. You know, I'm going to cut the review short here at six rounds. That tells me all I need to know. Let's take this thing to the whiteboard. Well, welcome back to the whiteboard, my friends. Today, we're looking at a rather lackluster score. So let's go ahead and break this down for the Walther PPK S. So for starters, extras. Just like the RPK-74, comes with a mag, bunch of useless doodads in a box. Does nothing for no one. A very underwhelming score of 4 out of 10. Now, reliability. You didn't see me shoot it much, so you're not going to get an accurate view on that, but I've looked at a lot, I've talked to a lot of people, and I've shot these before, just not this one. And they're generally pretty good. I have noticed they tend to be a little ammo-specific. Maybe that's just mine and my friend's experience, but hey... With that being said, we'll give it a 7 out of 10. Now, ergonomics. The gun is wildly comfortable, with the exception that, you know, my big old thumb here likes to press the mag release. But aside from that, mega comfy, 9 out of 10. That's really good, by the way. I did not expect that from such a little gun to be that comfortable in my hand. But I digress. We'll skip ahead. Performance. How relevant is this gun? Six plus one, that's pretty booty compared to a modern gun. Uh, all steel construction, it's heavy, yet again, kind of booty compared to a modern polymer framed gun. Um, the only thing it's got going for it is she's mighty comfy and mighty accurate, and that's about it. And it's small, great concealed carry gun, but much better options out there. So we'll give it a five out of 10. And of course, the Nico score, which is the most important score um, and on this gun, pretty low because I don't think this gun's that cool. I don't like it that much. And it drops the mag whenever I hold it like I'm actually going to shoot the gun. And that ruins it for me. It gets a 3 out of 10. And the only reason it gets that 3 out of 10 is because it's a Nito Burrito Old West German gun. Um, that's purely on mine. You know, you get a new modern stainless one, you might as well just crank that down to like a 2 or a 1 because those just dumb. Now, let's go ahead and average that out you get yourself a 5.6 out of 10, which is right in the middle of the road, a very average gun. So while these lines, you know, some of them were pretty bad, in total, it's average. You can do a lot better, but you could also do a lot worse. And now, of course, last but not least, let's go ahead and get into this year price tag. 
on average you can see them as low as 750 for some beater guns uh mine is probably in more that uh low price range but being a west german gun it does have some collectible value but the new ones are like 850 bucks msrp if you just desperately needed one that's about what you're looking at i guess if you can find one in stock somewhere so all in all i'm not gonna break the trend i still approve of this gun thanks for watching fellas see you again next time